Hi everyone, this is Kedra with Nyx Moon Oracle and today I am bringing you a Twin Flame reading and this one is going to be about how they're really feeling about you. We're going to tap into their situation and their environment, what's going on in the world, what's going on in their head, what's going on in their heart, and we're going to see the same for you, Divine Feminine, as well as the situation, any challenges, blockages, messages in the 5D, and possible future outcomes, and, and how spirit is guiding you, how spirit is assisting you in your journey and Divine Masculine's journey, and any advice or anything that spirit wants to bring up. So with that said, let's get this started. I've been charging everything here, and I'm just going to move this out of the way and get started. Charging and clearing. Okay. So first we're going to go into the energy between the twins right now. Let's see what's going on. What is the energy between the twins in this collective this week, Spirit? What is the energy between the twins this week, Spirit, that you'd like to bring up for this collective this week? Too many? We have gaslighting. Crowd surfing and mountains. I saw this earlier and I thought it was going to come out. Okay, now we're going to go into this a little bit further with some tarot. Tell me about this gaslighting. I do feel like with this gaslighting, this is for both of you. I feel like I feel like both of you have had people in your lives, and I feel like you've both done this yourself. You're kind of reflecting about gaslighting. You're learning more about it. You've heard this term come up more and you're like, okay, I know what that is, but man, I've done this before. You're really recognizing your behavior and it's shining a light on not only when others do it to you, but if you do it too. It's very involuntary. Sometimes gaslighting is done on purpose depending on uh, the t personality type um, and mental faculties that the person has. But people do this. This is not just for narcissists. People do gaslight. It's deflecting. But for me, this card, I'm going to go into the cards and see. But I feel like either one of you is, is shining a light on it. Like examining your own behavior, not just everybody else's. We have romantic gesture, knight of cups. I'm going to go into crowd surfing. I have temperance. And then mountains. Evolving. And look, there's mountains right there. Eight of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. This is stuff you're working on. I feel like because of this Eight of Pentacles, things you're working on, uh, progressing with, I do feel like this crowd surfing, I feel like you're really finding yourself. You're finding out who you are, what you like. Things are being illuminated. People that gaslight you, your own patterns with gaslighting, and really focusing on, you know, not just everybody else, this crowd surfing. It's like you're giving of yourself. You're, you've been trying to fit into images that are not you fitting in images, other people, images and expectations other people have for you. When we're, when now you're really showing yourself this, this Knight of cups, I really feeling you're taking the steps of self love right now. Like you're nurturing yourself. You're all about who you really are being authentic you know, this light being shown in both of these pictures, like you're seeing yourself now instead of how others see you. And that's your projection of yourself as well. You're not wearing all the faces that other people put onto you. You're really working on you, what you want, your dreams, your wishes, your ascension, your self-love and how you're treating others and how you're letting others treat you. This is both of you and see these mountains. Yes, you're going to have obstacles. People are going to be obstacles. Life has obstacles, they're learning lessons, but this Eight of Cups, you're evolving. You're going towards those mountains. You're working with the universe to overcome any obstacles with this temperance. You're bringing forth and making changes of who you really are, who you always were. And you're evolving back into your true self. And it's a work in progress, this Eight of Pentacles. And that's where this connection is. That is a very strong, wonderful thing that both of the twins are going. 
that they're going through an evolutionary process right now of who they are, what they're allowing in their life, what they, what, how they are treating people, how they face obstacles and restoring and coming back to who they were and who they've always been, which is a soul having a, having a life experience. And that's beautiful. Now we're going to go into what's going on with divine masculine. Oh my God, did I not do that? Okay, so now we're going to go into what's going on with Divine Masculine. We're going to go into their world, their environment. What is going on in Divine Masculine's world currently, Spirit? What are they focusing on in their world? What situations are going on in their world? What's going on in Divine Masculine's world? Gateway. Illumination, beautiful. Voyage, wow. <clears throat> Kedra, cut that out. So we have this gateway, illumination, and voyage. I feel like, I'm going to go in, Divine Masculine is being called towards something. He's feeling a pull. He's getting some um, revelations. He's getting some <coughs> clarity. And he's ready. He's ready to go into the unknown. He's ready to He's ready to go on this voyage. He knows. And it's a different route than he thought. Like normally a whale would be in the water. This whale has went on to a voyage by air. This Divine Masculine is being shown something, and we're going to go into what that is. This Divine Masculine is being called to this new gateway. A gateway is being opened up by spirit, and Divine Masculine is being called. And see, there's mountains again. They're getting clarity. Remember, the gaslighting thing came up. They're going down. They're being called, and things are being cleared up and opened up. And look at all this water. I feel emotions are involved. Movement is definitely involved and illumination. See the light coming through here. Illumination is here. The clouds are parting, but it's going to take unfamiliar territory, a unique way to go about doing things a different way than to what the divine masculine instinctually knows to do. Instead of by water, the whale, the whale is flying. I'm going to go into more about what this is. Tell me more about this, Spirit. Tell me more about this. What's this gateway, Spirit? What's this gateway? Self-love. Making it happen. This page of pentacles. Making solid progress. We saw the eight of pentacles that came up. Progress forward. Work in progress. This is taking... This is the beginning stages because the gateway is being opened. This page of pentacles is new news coming, the clarity, you know, making ideas into, you know, putting pen to paper and it's self-love. This could be moving forward with love, self-love, love of, this person could be an activist. Water is, is huge for them. But divine masculine is definitely being called to self-love. And to make things happen happen in his physical world, his, her, or their physical world. Yeah, Hermit's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, after some soul searching, this gateway opens up. There's soul searching and becomes really clear with this information, this page of pentacles. Devising a way to move forward in a different direction, in a different way. Going about, almost going against the grain of their instincts. Like, I know that I usually do this, this, and this, but that's not been working for me. So I have to go thing, about things a different way. Things are more clear now. I've done some soul searching. I'm, I'm loving myself. I'm seeing the world with love, doing things with love. And that's, that's the only way that I can do it. <clears throat> Tell me about this illumination. Tell me about this illumination, Spirit. I'm going to get one. I'm going to get another deck. I'm being called to this deck. Can you tell me about what's being illuminated? Tell me about this illumination. Temperance. 
and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so what's going on is with this Seven of Cups, okay, the Emperor's on the bottom of the deck. This Divine Masculine definitely has gotten some downloads with this Hermit energy. They're saying, I can't live with my head in the clouds. I can't. I can't fantasize about things getting better. I can't. I have. I can't work in fantasy. I can't work in illusion. I can't work um, in make believe. I have to quit waiting for things to happen and start making things happen. I have to balance between having dreams and living in dream mode. My my happiness and love can't happen um, through my mind, my fantasies, my thoughts. I have to put pen to paper with this page of pentacles, and I have to take action. And balance out with this temperance energy. Balance out taking action, <clears throat> how I expend myself, my boundaries, and have patience with myself going through these mountains that I'm going to go through. This is a voyage. It's a different way and a different way of thinking. This whole balance and patience with this temperance, they're used to living in the Seven of Cups energy, which is fantasies, illusions, daydreams, um, imagining what life could be instead of living it. Now they're going to do it. They're on the voyage. See how this moon is clouded? That's because they're not paying attention to the fantasies, the fear, the limiting beliefs, the daydreams. They're, they're wanting their reality to be their best life. And that comes with self-love. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. This is a very, there, there's some things happening with this divine masculine. And it shows me divine feminine because you are the keeper of the faint flame. And you lead the way on this um, twinkling journey. That shows me that you are doing the work. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, the hard work. Seven of Pentacles, this hard work, this new direction, this new way of being and thinking is paying off. This voyage is worth it. This Divine Masculine is growing in their world. They're changing how they do things. This is in their world. They're changing how they're doing everything. A new direction and a new way of being and doing. They're not relying on old habits, old ways of being that clouded. I mean, they have this new gateway that has opened up and they're taking it. Things are cleared. They've done some soul searching and it starts with this self-love and making a plan, not living in fantasy, making sure everything's balanced in moderation, having patience on this journey. And it's paying off with the seven, seven pentacles. That is, that's incredible. Just absolutely incredible. Thank you, spirit. Now I'm going to see where you are divine. Oh no, I am going to see where divine feminine is in their world. I was going to do all divine masculine first, but I'm going to do Divine Feminine. I feel like it needs to be that way. Okay, so now I'm going to see what's going on with Divine Feminine in their environment, in their world, their physical world. Could be spiritual, just their world. Whatever's affecting their world. These are a little harder to shuffle, so I just fan these big ones out. Okay. Wise Leader. Fogged in. Oh my gosh, you guys are mirroring each other. Wow. You're a little bit more ahead, but you're still navigating. Remember that voyage that Divine Masculine got? Wrong one. <laughs> I'm going to find it. They're sticking together. Voyage. You're both on a voyage. So what's going on with Divine Feminine Spirit? I see you are. You were, see what I said earlier just a few minutes ago? You're the keeper of the flame. Spirit's acknowledging this. Spirit's saying, yes, you are the leader of this twin flame journey. Where you go, divine masculine follows. They just don't know it. They're doing it because it feels right for them. They are very, you know, they're in their own world. They're not aware of this situation like you are. Divine masculine's progress as a human, as a soul, is dependent upon you. You are a beacon for others. You are a beacon for divine masculine. Not only Divine Masculine, but if you have children, you are as well. People will see you, Divine Feminine, and you may be noticing this. If you've been on this journey, people that I coach, their lives are changing. And people are noticing. They're noticing. They're beginning, more, they're beginning to be more confident. They're beginning to realize there's more to this twin flame journey than the physical person of Divine Masculine. They're beginning to realize and take charge because they know they're the keeper of the flame. And they have to leave Divine Masculine behind to let Divine Masculine live their life. <clears throat> you are the leader. You're the beacon for divine masculine moving forward. See, there's a mountain in the background. 
you're going through. It's almost like you know this path already. You've already cleared some mountains. You're going forward. It says fogged in. And sometimes you have stumbling blocks. Sometimes you get confused and you're like, oh, this is a little hard, but you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to take my time. Go slow. Take time. There's no rush. There's no rush. This is my awakening, my ascension, my life. Hi, guys. Sorry, my um, camera turned off there. So I'm going to go back to what I was saying. I feel like you're saying this is my life experience. I don't have a time limit. I'm going to get in this ship and I'm going to navigate through different situations. I'm going to take my time on this journey. I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to be navigated by spirit, my spirit guides, my angels that work in love and light. I'm going to follow my own path to my own dreams, my own wish fulfillment, my own happiness. I'm following my bliss. What makes me happy? What makes my soul happy? Because for a long time, navigating by the stars, you're looking ahead at your wish fulfillment. This came out earlier. You're not letting the expectations of others or the masks others put on you, labels others put on you, limiting beliefs. These are all limiting beliefs about who you really are. Like, we're told what we like, you know, we're conditioned what we like, we're made to feel bad about things. This is you navigating your bliss, following your bliss. Not that you're being mean and telling everybody to fuck off, but it's, it is putting up boundaries and letting every, and being that wise leader, picking your battles, how to navigate to follow your bliss, even when things get a little rough or unclear. You are navigating by the stars, you're following your star, you're, you're becoming self-aware, the keeper of the flame, what this journey really is, the journey to yourself. Now I'm going to get some tarot to go with it. Spirit, tell me about this wise leader spirit. Tell me about this wise leader. This is really great. See that Ten of Cups. <clears throat> See this? You turned, it was upside down. You turned a painful ending. This shows me you're in separation with Divine Masculine. Oh, Divine Masculine's on the bottom of the deck. Holy crap. Yep, you had a painful ending with Divine Masculine. Okay? You did, but you turned it around. Now you know that you are Divine Masculine. You and Divine Masculine are one. You're not separate. The physical person union with this physical person is not important. You're already in union. You're one soul in two different bodies. You're, you're going your direction and you are wishing divine masculine the best on their direction. And this is beautiful because you are focused on your 10 of cups, that happiness, fulfillment, everything you've wanted. And you're doing it by restoring temperance comes out again by restoring and balancing the energy, the shared energy between you and Divine Masculine. You're like, I know, I know, I love my Divine Masculine. We love our Divine Masculines, right? We do. They're the hottest. They're the best. They're the sexiest. They, you know, they're just, their physical person is incredible. But you know what? I have to live my own life. I have to follow my own bliss. And I want them to follow their own bliss, whatever path that takes them, because we're already one. I don't need to seek their attention. I don't need to get their attention or their approval or pine for them. I'm I'm going forward for me. Sometimes I'm I have little, you know, hiccups in the road, but that's okay. This is a journey and a voyage to self, to me, to my bliss. Tell me about fog then, spirit. Tell me about fog then. Ooh. This one flew out, hangman. Yeah. You've let, you've let go of a lot of stuff, change your perspectives on this journey. You've let go of the, the needing, the wanting, the pining. Sometimes it still happens that we're, you know, we're human and our divine masculines are fine, but you know what? We know what this journey's about. It's to live our best life, staying in our own lane. See this Knight of Wands? We're changing our perspective on and letting go of having this restless energy. This Knight of Wands is very restless and very passionate, sexual, you know, lusty stuff. We're channeling it now. Instead of using this energy towards the Divine Masculine, we're using this 
to go slow and steady. Enjoying our bliss. We're changing our perspectives and letting go of this restless, you know, passionate fueled energy that we have for divine masculine. We're using it, we're transmuting it to follow our bliss. And that is so much progress. I, I am, I'm just amazed with that. You're transmuting all over the place, Divine Feminine. Now I'm going to go into navigating by the stars, following your bliss. I'm going to see what Spirit says about that. What's the energy with that, Spirit? What's the energy with that? Yeah, you've taken this restless, you know, going after attention-seeking behavior, um, just restless for this Divine Masculine. you got to have, got to have, you let it go. And now there's this Ace of Wands. You're following your bliss. You're having a spark for life. You're like, wow, I do feel better. I do feel better. Now I'm living for me. I have this new spark for life, this zest for life. And I like this new me. I like transmuting this passion for chasing somebody else into following my bliss, following my path. And that's absolutely beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Way to go, Divine Feminine. I'm so proud of you. And if you haven't done this or you're just starting, this is a roadmap for you. This is a roadmap for you. This could happen starting today on. Remember, you're the keeper of the flame. I said that before this card came out. Thank you, Spirit. Now I'm going to go into how Divine Masculine sees you, okay? We're going to go into how Divine Masculine is feeling about you. In their, well, actually how they're seeing you in their headspace, okay? In their mind. Spirit, how is Divine Masculine seeing Divine Feminine in his headspace, in his mind? How is he thinking about, what is he thinking about, and how is he thinking about Divine Feminine? Your name may be Stefania or Estefania or Stephanie. She who surrenders. Chains, bondage, and release. See this, um, for some of you, every time I see this card when it comes up, I see 11-11, and it's a twin flame confirmation. Two pillars, which is 11, and the two waterfalls is 11, 11, 11. And look at all those mountains in the background. How he sees you in your mind's eye right now, when he thinks about you, he thinks about you being sad. Um, and this may not be it. This may just, remember, this is just his mind. This is not his heart. The mind is very egoic. He may not, he may not have seen you for a long time since your separation because we already were confirmed there's a separation here. He may not know what's going on in your world. He's really focused on him right now. His world, his pentacles, his, his voyage that he's on. He, she, they, it doesn't matter. Take it to whatever applies to you, please. I say he because that's kind of like my situation and, and a lot of others that I coach as well as uh, attract to me through readings. I feel like they're like, they see you as waiting on a message, hanging on to old messages that you're pining, that you're, that you're pining and waiting for them. And they want you to release this. That's why that release came back, comes comes out right there at the bottom. They want you to surrender, change your perspectives, release it, let it go. But little do they know, you already have, or you will. Remember that roadmap that Spirit laid out because the hangman came out. That is changing your perspectives, putting that key in, unlocking, let it go. You've already released this. And if you haven't yet, you will. You're in the process of it. But they see you as hanging on, that you're bound to them. Let's go to, go to what how else do they how else are they seeing in divine feminine in their mind's eye, spirit? How else are they seeing divine feminine in the mind's eye? What are they thinking about when they think of divine feminine? Seven of Wands. I'm going to go, I'm going to get two more and then I'll clarify this. Oh, eight of swords. Yeah. They, they're seeing you in their mind's eyes. Now remember this is their ego. See this ace of pentacles is in reverse. Mm. 
They're wanting you to release it. They're wanting you to stand up for yourself, um, to go after what you want in life. They want you to be stronger. They want you to fight for yourself because they feel like you're stuck with them. This Eight of Swords is this is stuck energy. It's imprisonment, self-imprisonment, imprisonment of the mind. When we, this is mental, mental prison, victim mentality. This is how they're seeing you. Like they're, they're seeing you not moving, moving forward, not going after your um, abundance in life. Remember your bliss. They don't see that. This is in their mind's eye because this may be all they know. They don't know you've moved forward. They don't know. That's in their mind. I'm going to get some messages to go with this. I'm very curious. Give me some messages, Spirit, of what they would they are thinking about in about the divine, divine, <laughs> divine feminine in their mind in regards to this energy, Spirit. Yeah. I need more time to figure things out. And if they're feeling this way in their mind about you, that's still some shared energy being built that, that's there that needs to be worked out. But you're already working on that. And if you haven't, this is... This is the stuff that's keeping them away from you. It's that shared energy. And as long as they feel that shared energy of you pining for them, of you waiting on messages from them, of you not letting go and going after your... See, they're, they're thinking that you're stuck. You're stuck on them, that you're stuck in what happened. You're, you're not moving forward. You're not standing up for yourself. You're not fighting. You're not going for that ace of pentacles, you know, the ultimate achievement in your own life, your own bliss. This is how they see you currently. They need more time to figure things out because that shared energy. And what that's telling me is they don't know your journey yet. They don't know what's going on with you because they're on their journey. But the thing is, you're on your journey. And if you haven't started, this, this stuff right here is, the, is shared energy buildup. You have to begin the journey. And if you don't remember what that was about, just rewind and go watch what that was, the roadmap. And if you are and you've been on it, you're doing great. This is just re residual stuff that's going to work itself out because you already see the gateways opened. They're taking it. They're getting illuminated. And they're going to navigate things a different way. This is just residual stuff. Now we're going to go in their heart space towards you, okay? We're going to go in their heart space towards you. I'm putting these cards up. Okay. And we'll get some messages from their heart space as well. Spirit, can you tell me how Divine Masculine currently feels about Divine Feminine and their heart space? Their heart. And then we're going to get some messages from the 5D as well. That soul stuff that they want you to know. Tell me, Spirit, how does Divine Masculine currently see, I mean, currently feel about Divine Feminine in their heart space. Reese or Bryce. She who surprises. Surprise, discovery, revelation. I feel like even though their mind is telling them all this other stuff about you, because that's residual energy, their heart knows better. Their heart knows somehow that you are undergoing a metamorphosis. You are stepping into your queen's and Empress energies. You're getting revelations. They're getting revelations. They're getting discoveries. You're getting discoveries. They see you. They, I mean, they don't see you. They feel it on an energetic level in their heart. Deep, deep inner knowing. They know you're undergoing a transformation. They know it. They know you have begun the journey. And that's what's leading them onto their journey. That's absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to go how, on how they're feeling about you. A little deeper, energetically. Spirit, how is Divine Masculine feeling about Divine Feminine in their heart space? How is Divine Masculine feeling about Divine Feminine in their heart space? Yeah, that's Six of Swords. You're leveling that shared energy out. I'm going to get one more. Ooh, two wanted to come out. Okay, Page of Swords. 
Eight of Swords again in their heart space. You're in their thoughts for sure with this page of swords. You are in their mind. They, I don't, because the, because they're getting clarity in this situation and illumination, they're, they're getting intuitive hits that you're, you're doing better. And you know, you're going down different path and it's a better path for you and smoother path. But I'm going to clarify this because I'm getting a couple of messages and I want to know what that is exactly I'm gonna go tell me what this is spirit what is this five of pentacles about and this eight of swords let me use my lip service oracle the guy that I created that will be up in Etsy this week with a couple of, with a few other decks as well tell me about this five of pentacles and eight of swords why is that coming up in their heart space spirit okay resistance hidden treasures between the lines and triggers. Okay. In their heart space, they're, they're, they're feeling these things about you, right? That you are undergoing this metamorphosis. They're feeling that you're going towards this bliss and tranquility. And they're feeling that they're starting to feel instead of, you know, that Knight of Swords energy towards you because it was on the bottom of the deck, one of these decks that I was opening right here. This was at the bottom of the deck when I was taking out these cards. And I always use the bottom of the deck as a wild card. And in this instance, it's very applicable because your Divine Masculine is really confused right now because they think a certain way of you, but their heart is telling them something else. And their heart is having an inner conflict. They're triggered by these feelings, these good feelings, this awakening, this gateway opening up. And they're still wanting to be that lone wolf, that five of pentacles. They're still wanting to maintain their distance. They're resistant to move forward, even though you're very tempting, like water on the lips. They're wanting, you know, they're, you're in their thoughts. They're trying to figure things out with this between the lines card. They're trying to figure out. They're trying to figure out why they're feeling this when they see you as stuck on them, that you're, they're chained, chained to you. I do feel like they feel chained to you, but it's kind of like they like it. They like it at the same time. And they're like, well, why do I like it? Why do, why am I having these conflicting feelings for this person? Because just two weeks ago, maybe a month ago, a year ago, I'm just pissed off. I'm running. I want to be alone. I want to be away from this situation. But they find themselves stuck in their thoughts about you. And I feel like it's when they're alone the most that this is going at them. And they try to resist it, but those thoughts keep whispering in their ears. And they keep trying to figure it out. And they catch themselves. And they're triggered by it. They're catching themselves wondering why they're thinking, I mean, feeling this. And then their mind is like, wait, no, this person's like this, remember? But then they're like, but... Thinking about them, finding things out about them feels good. Why is that? They're starting to see that maybe there's a hidden treasure here. And this is in their heart space. And there's a lot of, lot of conflicting energy, but that is what's supposed to happen. That is what is supposed to happen on this journey. I'm going to get some uh, messages. Spirit, I'd like some messages from Divine Masculine's higher self from their heart space. How are they feeling? How are they feeling in their heart space towards Divine Feminine? Yeah, I, I'm feeling all this different stuff. I'm drawn to you, but at the same time, I'm resisting it. When I'm alone, I think about you. But then I isolate those thoughts and make them go away because I'm triggered by it. But I feel you, and it feels good. It feels good. I'm starting to see you differently, but I don't know what comes next. What am I supposed to do with this? I saved your texts and messages, you know, because I don't want to let you go. Why? They're really conflicted about this. It's triggering them. I don't want to let you go. Thank you, Spirit. Now I'm going to get some uh, 5D messages from their higher self to you. 
Spirit, can you tell me? I gotta fix my little mushroom. Look how cute this is. This little mushroom. Fluorite. Isn't it adorable? I got it from the shop that I read tarot at. Karma Cards in Bellingham. If you are in Bellingham, I'm planning to go to Bellingham, Washington, please stop by and get a reading from me. Um, pick up some stones. There's a lot of nice things there. I'm going to put these back in. There's too many. Spirit, can you tell, give me some messages from Divine Masculine's Higher Self to Divine Feminine from the 5D? Wow. And this was on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so what I'm getting is I have to move on. Why is this so important right now? I have to move on. I have a gateway opening up. I have a journey that I have to go on. Self-love. I'm getting some clarity here. And I have a voyage to go on. I have to do my own thing right now. I have to move on. But at the same time, I see you and everyone I meet. This crowd surfing. This crowd surfing means something completely different to Divine Masculine than it does for you. That's why I love Oracle cards. They see you in everyone that they meet, this crowd surfing. There's a little bit of you in everybody right now. And I'm feeling a magnetic pull towards you. Why, why is that, Divine Feminine? Why is that? Because you're the keeper of the flame. You're the wise leader. You're that beacon. They're feeling that magnetic pull. Once you leave the Divine Masculine behind and... Go towards your bliss, your happiness. Not getting caught up when you get, you know, have a little stumbling block where you're, you know, you just keep going. You're taking your time. You're going slow. They feel that magnetic pull to you. And now, guess what? Nobody compares to you. No one else compares to you. You're a hidden treasure. And they're seeing that. You're a work of art. You're a masterpiece. You stand out. There's no one that compares to you. They're thinking about you, Divine Feminine. They, You are drawing them in, but don't focus on that. You keep going. You keep going on your journey, okay? It's nice to know this. It's nice to check in and know this and, you know, having spirit pat you on the back saying you're doing a great job, but keep going. This reading may cause a little bit of a stumbling block, but guess what? Keep going. Just use the information here as inspiration to keep going. To keep going to who you really are. Your bliss, your wish fulfillment, your ten of cups. Who you really are. Living your best life. Not focusing on divine masculine. Not waiting around. And that's beautiful. Now I'm going to go into some challenges and obstacles going forward, okay, on this journey. Challenges and obstacles. Marriage. Growing apart. And complacency. Okay, what I'm get, I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna get a tarot to go with this. I do feel like already, one of you may be married. One of you may have gotten married. You may have, um, one of you may be engaged, uh, living together situation, but one of you is definitely in another situation. If that doesn't resonate with you, this probably isn't your reading, or you can just take what does resonate and just throw that out. But this, this is for a great majority of you that this person is in another situation like a live-in, um, a domestic partner, a marriage. And that's what's kind of hindering any progress that, with the relationship between the both of you right now. <clears throat> this says growing apart, and that's actually a good thing, even though this is a challenge. You are growing apart. You are, the, you are going on your path, your voyage, and Divine Masculine is going on theirs. You're moving in different directions. You're both 
detaching from one another, which is actually a good thing. But why this is here in the shadow is because Divine Feminine, your mind will would like to make this a negative. Like he's moving forward without me. I don't feel is because sometimes when we're on this journey, we feel so connected to our divine masculine. It's comforting, right? It, it's just comforting. But as we go forward and we're not thinking about them as much and we're not, you know, having that chaser behavior, that charge that we have, then we start thinking, we feel their absence. They're actually not absent. That's the mind thinking, oh shit, I haven't been thinking about them. Oh shit, I haven't been uh, keeping tabs on them. Or, oh God, what's going on? You just don't feel that, your mind doesn't feel that crazy connection and it needs it. And it takes this as a bad thing, like divine masculine, did he ever care about me? I mean, was this ever, and then you're like, was this ever a twin flame dynamic? I mean, you start questioning it. And this is why this is a shadow because this can turn into a hamster wheel of shit in your mind, just splattering everywhere and hindering your progress. And spirit wants you to be very, very aware of that. Complacency. Someone is getting too comfortable. Don't get complacent on this journey. Don't think you know it all. Because when you're on this journey, you're going to think, and I've, this has happened to me so many times, I can't even count, where you are thinking to yourself, oh, I know this journey. I got this. I got this. I got this. You know, and you, you kind of slack on doing the work because you think you're over it. You think you've got it under control. And then, bam, you find out they're getting married. And you're, you know, you're like, oh, my God. And then you have another dark night of the soul. And then it's just like the cycles are continuing over and over. Don't get complacent. Don't feel like you need to have a connection to divine masculine every day or think about them. If you don't, if you find yourself not thinking about him or her or them, and you haven't had a thought about them for a while, that's actually a, such a good thing for your ascension. And it's such a good thing for your twin flame journey. Don't feel like you know everything on this journey because nobody does. Nobody knows everything. Not me, not any twin flame coach out there, not any twin flame reader out there. there. We don't, we know what we know, but there's so many unknowns and each individual journey is a person's journey. We all have free will as well. We just have, if we're focused on what divine masculine is doing over here, we are not moving forward or progressing. So the best rule of thumb is don't feel like you know everything. If you feel divine masculine's absence, that's okay. Pat yourself on the back. You're doing a great job. And remember, this journey is about you. You. Following your bliss, your path in life. And when you do get triggered, it's okay. Take your time. Get back on the boat and row. Get back on track. This is a journey to yourself. Your authentic self. Thank you, Spirit. Now I'm going to go into some um, possible future outcomes with this connection. Spirit, can you tell me some possible future outcomes with this connection? And then I'm going to go into how Spirit is assisting you. Your Spirit guides that work in love and light, angels that work in love and light, how are they with you on this journey? How are they helping? How are they walking with you? chemistry. Possible future outcomes, spirit. Keep an open mind. Magnetic comes out again. You're definitely, it just shows me that, and don't hang on to this because if you hang on to this, this is actually going to give you some stumbling blocks. Okay. Just take this and then use it as fuel moving forward, being that wise leader. I think I'm going to get one more for some reason. I want one more. Spirit says no. Possible future outcomes. Okay. And then I'm going to get... I'm going to clarify what this is. Because I don't know if this is spirit saying you both go in different directions and find chemistry with a soulmate or with each other because the, these don't have twin flame marker cards. So 
so we'll see. Tell me about this. Possible future outcome spirit. Purge. Okay, I'm getting a story here. Hang on. I have a little bit more to go. Possible future outcome spirit. I'm going to get another deck. I love you. Too many spirit. Too many spirit. We have winter. Exotic getaway. Toxic. Oh, hang on. Nani would have sent that to her. We need a. No, I just. I didn't want you to fall when you were bending over to hug me. Okay. I have to clear up. Uh, toxic. These are very conflicting cards. Okay, I'm going to get one more. Oh, that flew. Shady. Okay, I'm going to get two more because I, I pretty much feel like what's going on here. And this is possible future outcomes. Okay. And then I'm going to go into one more, one more, one more. Because if, I'm pretty sure I know what's going on here, but I have to do my due diligence here. Okay, Twin Flame, again, confirmation comes out. One more. Okay. Still Blooming is on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so that pretty much went with what I was getting. I just had to make sure. I don't like to speak for spirit. You know, I'm not comfortable doing that. I don't like talking for spirit unless I'm shown. So what I'm getting is... You're going to have some definite back and forth moments with this divine masculine. I feel like you're going to have, um, you're both going to go in dif different directions. Okay. I feel like you're going to both feel this strong magnetic attraction to one another. See that magic, how you're making magic happen. I do feel like they come in and out of your life blowing hot and cold. And then it goes back to being on ice and then you have to go through and purge and get on your journey again a few times. Okay. Maybe only one for some of you, but I'm getting a few times for some of you. But I do feel like a soulmate does come in for both of you. That may be where the marriage is in. Your, your divine masculine, because marriage came out earlier, may have went into a soulmate relationship. And I do feel like it triggers some, it's because of inner child things that they have going on that they haven't purged. I do believe that over time, I do believe at first they do exotic things together. They go on trips together. It's fun. It's a soulmate thing. And they really enjoy being with this person. This could be you too. It may be happening for both of you. But I'm definitely feeling yes for Divine Masculine. For sure. But this could be both of you back and forth in the possible in, as possible future outcomes. The thing is though, It eventually turns toxic and it's painful and they, there's this linger and it's and it shows abandoned but it was in reverse but I, I feel like this divine masculine kind of sticks to this relationship for a while way longer than it should be it's like petrified here see how everything's petrified and oxidized and on ice and cups spilt I feel like this Divine Masculine stays in this situation for a while. Way longer than they should. I can't get a time limit on it. But it's definitely something that they just don't abandon. But this chemistry over here, this is you. This is their situation. This is you. They feel this bond with you. And they are on that purge that they're doing. They're trying to purge things with you. 
they're not being on the up and up with you. They're being shady and they put it on ice, this situation, okay? This harmony is what they seek though. It's what you seek. This situation leaves Divine Masculine feeling really lost. And I do feel like you both seek this harmony and you do have this magnetic attraction to one another. And what I'm getting is through your patience and through your blooming. Remember, patience came up earlier. For you, Divine Feminine. Go slow, take time. That's patience. Why are you taking time? You're following your bliss. Becoming who you really are. Remember? And you are attracting this Divine Masculine because they are in a situation or will be in a situation they will not get out of quickly. But they feel that. They feel their heartstrings being pulled by you. They feel that harmony with you. And the more you bloom in your life, the more you move forward, the more they feel this twin flame connection. And it pulls them in. The more they begin to purge all the things that are no longer serving them. And the more they can walk away from the situation. I do believe a future outcome is, after all of that, I'm going to get one more just to make sure. Spirits tell me to get one more. Tell me about this faithful card, Spirit. I see wedding rings. So, yeah, this person does end up walking away from this toxic relationship with this Eight of Cups. They went from not abandoning it to walking away and abandoning the situation to go towards harmony. They walk away. Very good, Spirit. Thank you. Tell me about this faithful card. Yeah, they go toward, they walk away towards their Ten of Cups. And guess who had that Ten of Cups that came up earlier from a different deck? You, Divine Feminine. They may bring you flowers. This Four of Pentacles. Let me get another one just to make, I feel like they're saving money. They're getting their money together. They're balancing things. This came out earlier for them, remember? Uh, they're tempering their behavior. They're going about things a different way. They're watching their money. They're watching their thoughts. The hermit comes out again for divine masculine. They're soul searching. This is that roadmap again happening. They're soul searching. They feel that flame. They feel that twin flame connection. Where did it go? Here it is. What else? Too many spirits. Too many, too many, just one. There we go. Yep, and that starts that. They're thinking about you. They're, they, instead of it being a fantasy, they're taking the Seven of Cups as an opportunity to go towards that Ten of Cups, to be with you, to be this King of Pentacles, to bring in this Eight of Wands, this communication with you. Quickly. Quickly. Yeah, they, they're, they're going to work hard for your attention. That Eight of Pentacles. Yep, they're bringing that news with that Page of Pentacles. That's the second time Page of Pentacles has come out for them. They're like, uh, and see, remember the voyage, the gateway, the voyage? Remember the voyage I said was a different way of going about things. This Divine Masculine knows that they have to come to you right. They have to come to you not in fantasy thinking, but after soul searching, having their shit together. Being ready for this opportunity, working hard for you, wooing you, taking action and communicating, not beating around the bush. They know they have to do this and it's going to have to be a different way than they used to do it. They can't follow the usual back and forth. It has to be different this time. It has to be different because this is a turning point. This wheel of fortune, they know this is the turning point. If they don't do it correct, they're not going to have this 10 of cups with you because they want a new beginning with you. This Ace of Swords, this is what they want. They got to cut through all the bullshit, limiting beliefs, all of that crap, and get to you the right way and show you they're committed, committed to this connection. Committed to balancing, making you, uh, they're committed to you instead of balancing with other people, other priorities, not prioritizing you like they did in the past. They're not, they can't, they can't um, have this five of wands thinking anymore. They know it. They've gotten clarity that they can't do these two things anymore. 
They can't go back and forth. They can't juggle you. They can't um, cause conflict, competition with you. They want to show you they're committed. They're, faith they're faithful. They know this is special. They know it's special. This is destined. This is the turning point. Yeah, they're bringing you justice. They have to balance it because before they hurt you. They've hurt you for the last time. They have to bring you justice for this behavior, this eight, uh, this uh, seven of swords, the cheating, the ghosting, the betrayal, the lying, the going back and forth, getting your hopes up. Yeah, they have to put that to rest because they know this three of wands it has to progress so that you can come together with this four of wands in harmony. Harmony already came out. You were both seeking harmony. The harmony. This is twin flame. Homecoming. Building a firm foundation. Being faithful. Being faithful. This is what they have to do. This is what they know they have to do. And this is the path that they'll be on. But it starts with you, Divine Feminine. And it continues with you. You are the wise leader. You are the wise leader. Keeper of the flame. You are the one that magnetically draws divine masculine in. But you can't worry about what they're doing with that soulmate or that um, husband or wife or domestic partner, lover, boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, girlfriends. Now I'm going to see how spirit is assisting you. Divine feminine. How is spirit assisting you? Divine Feminine. Let's close this up, Spirit, with some How Are You Helping Divine Feminine Through This Journey? How are you assisting with this walk, this journey with Divine Feminine? Sacred Gratitude. Ooh. Meditation, prayer, making the changes, being grateful for this journey, that it's not a curse. Being grateful for this twin flame journey. They are Spirit and your Spirit guides that work in love and light. And your angels that work in love and light are assisting you on this twin flame journey. Assisting you in gaining downloads and knowledge and experience. In grounding. In coming together. In making changes. To see this twin flame journey not as a curse but a blessing. This is a journey to yourself. They're assisting with uh, giving downloads to you. Divine masculine. Helping you to both face one another. Oh, that's too many spirit. Yeah, to move forward. Even with mountains in your way, any obstacles, fearless, moving forward. Even when you have stumbling blocks, not being hard on yourself. Just keep moving forward, Divine Feminine. That's how they're assisting you. That's beautiful. And then I'm going to go into this deck right here. Very hard to shuffle, but... What needs to come out always comes out. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on, and we already know who that is. Beware of what you're projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Watch how you think about yourself. That's already come out. Remember that crowd surfing card? Be your authentic self. Also, watch what you're projecting onto your divine masculine. If you think they're a dumb bastard or an asshole... Uh, a jerk, um, a piece of crap. They know that. Energetically, you are sending that information to them. You're having a an interdimensional conversation. Even though you are not even around them, you're having that 5D dialogue back in your head. And if you're saying, he's such a piece of shit, or I'll never forgive you, you're a piece of shit, you cheating bastard. You know all that stuff that goes on. Or he thinks he's better than me. Or even if you feel like this new person that's going to come in or a person they're already with. If you're talking trash about the karmic, if you're, you know, jealous of them, you think they're better than you. Watch what you're projecting. There's nobody better than you, Divine Feminine. It's not the person's fault that they're with Divine Masculine. No matter if they instigate things with you or not, you're supposed to be in your own lane regardless. Okay? We know Divine Masculine has feelings that they're masking. Because the shared energy is there. You have to do the work. You have to detach, let go. The hangman already came out. You have to detach and let go, not hang, not hang around. You are the beacon, the keeper of the flame. You move forward. We already saw the roadmap. If you forgot the steps, rewatch this again. 
Be aware of the vibrations and words that you're saying about yourself. Be aware of thinking somebody's better than you just because divine masculine may have went in that direction. That's not true. Spirit's saying, I'm here because I have to teach things to both of you. I need you to keep going. I have things for you to experience without divine masculine right now. Be aware of the qualities. Uh, be aware of what you're projecting. Be aware of putting divine masculine on a pedestal putting anybody above you, putting yourself down, or talking shit about divine masculine or the karmic. You have to watch out for them because people feel your interdimensional conversations and thoughts. They energetically don't, they energetically pick up on you, what you're saying, and you're radiating it out. And that's not good for your soul. Anything that's done in that is not soul stuff. When you forgive and love yourself and you're so busy living your best life, you're not all up in this mess. That's where you want to be. That earth magic. Fearless, removing obstacles, which is your limiting beliefs and all the stuff you're putting out there. Gratitude for who and what you are and that this is not a curse. This is an opportunity. This is ascension. Oh, look at that. Twin flames was on the bottom of the deck. Boom. Where does it start? Inside yourself. Whenever you feel that roadblock, look inside yourself. Examine what it is that's causing you to feel this way. What limiting belief? What are you projecting? Why are you focusing on divine masculine or their karmic situation? That's just their life situation. We label it as a karmic, but it's their life situation. It's what they've chosen because they have free will. You, your job is to be the wise leader. Go slow, take time, get on that ship, set sail. Navigate by the stars, follow your bliss, your path. Let divine masculine have the free will. To follow theirs, because that's what ends up bringing you together. But you both have lessons to learn. So. Be that wise leader. Keeper of the flame. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. That's what I'm going to leave you with. Thank you, Spirit. I hope this reading helped you. Have a beautiful week ahead. Namaste.